Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to start a new series called Minecraft Modding and I'm going to be explaining how to install the programs that you need for modding and also how to actually mod Minecraft itself. So, to start us, you'll need to download a few programs. The first one is called MCP and this is like the main program that actually decompiles and recompiles the source code of Minecraft. So, I'm just going to download that and I'm going to save it in this folder I've conveniently made. And then you also need to download Eclipse. I'd advise downloading the classic version as it's just nicer and works better. So it's quite big because I've already downloaded it. And, I'm also in, and you also need to download Java SE Development Kit 7. So you scroll down and download it for the um, type of computer that you're on. I was on this one, so I downloaded that one and install that. And you'll also need Mod Loader. So on the Mod Loader page, scroll down and download Safe Link has. Mod loader, and I'll put it there. So once you've done that, you'll need to um, set up your Java development kit so MCP actually works. And for this, you'll need to go to CMD, so just open that up, and you'll need to type in Java C. And if that comes up with an error, then you'll need to do is follow in. But if it comes up with some random things that scroll down quite a bit, um, then you won't need to do any of the next bit I'm about to show you. So once you've uh, done that and it doesn't work, you need to s put things right. So go into computer, properties, advanced system settings, then you need to go to the advanced tab, environment variables, path, and then you'll have this um, variable value here. And you'll need to find out where your Java was installed. So to do this, you need to go into your program files and then Java's here, and then JDK, and then bin, and then you need to copy um, addresses text. And then when at the environment variables you need to put a semicolon and just paste that in. Ttk, 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 and cross out of that. Then you can go back to CMD, and if you type in Java C now, it should come up with all these things which you don't know what to do with. And then you can just edit it out of that. And now you'll actually need to set up um, MCP. So to do that, you'll need to extract all the files. So extract here using WinRAR. And you'll also need to extract mod loader. I'm just going to extract that normally. And then you can delete those two files. So delete. And now what you need to do is you'll need to go to your .minecraft and you'll need to copy. Um, the bin resources, and if you don't know how to sketch your dot Minecraft, do percent at data percent enter dot Minecraft, and then there's bin and resources. So if I just go back to here, and you need to enter jars folder, and if you go to dot Minecraft, bin and resources, do copy, and then paste them into here, the jars folder. Wait for that. Once that is done, you need to enter your bin folder, and you'll need to have a completely new Minecraft.jar. So I'm just going to make sure it's brand new by getting a brand new one out of my special jars folder. So I'm going to paste that in, and that is now a brand new jar. Then what you need to do you need to actually open that up with uh, extracting programmers such as WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip. So open that up, close. And you'll need to go into your mod loader that you extracted, and you'll need to select all of them and just drag them straight into your Minecraft.jar. And you'll need to delete the mess.inf as always, so it doesn't conflict with anything. Then you can go ahead and delete your mod loader, and that is that done. And then to actually um, decompile the code of Minecraft, you'll need to um, just decompile here. And this will decompile, decompile the client, but as we haven't put the server jar in, it won't decompile the server, so this is only for client modding. And so you'll go through all this, and you'll see like MC Injector and stuff. It shouldn't have any errors to start with. And because this takes like three to four minutes, I'm going to skip this, so I'll be back once it's done. So it's just done, and I've exited it out. Uh, so now you've got more folders. And by the way, if you get a few errors, uh, that does not matter. It's normal. It will say like hunk error something like that, that does not matter. So now once you've done that, uh, that is the source code 
decompiled. And then what you need to do is you need to open up Eclipse. So there should be an icon inside the folder that you extracted like this. And I've just put up my folder down here so it's easier so you can see my downloads. Run it. And then what you need to do once it starts loading up, you need to click browse and you need to actually find where you've saved it. So mine's in downloads. Then there's MCP tutorial. And then you need to find the folder called Eclipse. Select that and then just click OK. So it should be like something, something, wherever you saved it, and then slash Eclipse. Click OK, and the Eclipse will just start loading up. So loading workbench, and stuff like that. And then um, that is actually MCP and everything set up now. So you've got your client, you've got your server, it'll say, like, an exclamation mark there is no server so you don't ensure src and then dot net dot minecraft dot src which stands for source and you can go ahead and create a new class and you'll need to name this mod underscore I'm just going to call this mcp x x ample and you need to have so you have mod underscore and then you have the name of your mod so and then click finish and it will create your class and there you are and then you can put that down there and you can do x stands base mod and I need to create a method, so I'm just gonna, oops, great, just gonna click the wrong one, with undo. So you need to create a method, and uh, if you want to see how to do that, then uh, you'll have to watch the next video because that's this video done. So I hope you enjoy this, guys, and I hope it's been very informative. Uh, these will be coming out quite often, these modding tutorials, and I will be putting the code. Um, for the mod in the description if you want to like just copy it or something and they'll also be put in the uh, links for all the websites I've used today in the description so yeah I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching see you next time bye